welcome to my class my dear students today we have to study about geography second lesson lithosphere second exogenetic process in this lesson we have to study about the various external process of the earth that are the different types of weathering and the resultant features and how the weathered materials are transported by different agents the features formed by erosion transportation and deposition of natural agents let us go to the listen the earth is the dynamic system that undergoes various changes due to internal and external processes the continuous interaction of these two processes controls to the earth surface the external processes are the consequence of solar energy and gravitational force whereas the internal processes are an outcome of the earth internal heat this earth external processes into two types the two weathering and gradation weathering is nothing but the breakdown of rocks there are three types of weathering physical weathering chemical weathering and biological weathering the break down of rocks due to physical forces is called physical weathering here exfoliation block integration and granular integrations are the major types of physical weathering exfoliation means the rocks surface as the peeling of rocks layer by layer like an onion this is called exfoliation the seating and shattering or the other forms of exfoliation now let us go to the chemical weathering the weathering takes place due to the chemical reaction of the rocks is called chemical weathering here oxidation carbonation solution and hydration or takes place the oxidation the process similar to the rusting of iron pressure of air and the water is known as oxidation carbonation and the carbonic oxide reacts with the carbonate rocks and the rocks get disintegrated and break down solution means the rock substances dissolved in water hydration the minerals found in the rocks swell and thus result in the de development of cracks and rock water down this type of weathering is called hydration biological weathering is nothing but the penetration and expansion of plant roots earthworms animals and human activities or the causes of biological weathering now let us go to the gradation gradation is the process of leveling the land by means natural agents like rivers ground water wind glacier and the sea waves gradation takes place in two ways that are aggradation and degradation aggradation as building up of land forms due to natural agents degradation is eroding the land surface of the earth agents of gradation first of all we have to study about the river that is the running water the running water originate 
the higher land forms like mountain hills and plateaus then receive water from various sources from the rain glacier springs lakes etc let's go to the course of river the river divided into three types that are upper course middle course and lower course in the upper course erosion takes place and the river usually tumbles down the steep mountain slopes land features caused by the river in its upper course or v shaped valleys gorges canyons rapids potholes spurs and waterfalls in the middle course the river enters the plain region and the transportation takes place and the deposition occurs to the sudden decrease of velocity the river in the middle course develops some typical landforms like flood plains meanders and oxbow lakes etc now the lower course of the river is the end of the river it has to be an end by step by step activities and the deposit and sediments found at the level and split into the number of channels called distributaries the main work of the river is the deposition and develops typical landforms like delta and estuary erosional landforms of river first of all we have to study about gorges and canyons gorges means valleys the valleys run out about 100 kilometers or called canyons no waterfalls the river flows in a region and hard rocks like over soft rocks horizontally the soft rocks get eroded quickly and the hard rocks project outwards the river falls vertically from the steep slope to form a waterfall v shaped valleys are formed by the vertical erosion of the river where the valley is deepened and widened put hole as the cylindrical holes are drilled by the erosion of the river meander means the level of river gets lower and it forms sweeping loops and bends that is called meanders oxbow lake is nothing but the meanders formed a circle with narrow neck and it is also called lake that is called oxbow lake now the deposition landform of the river is alluvial pan where the fertile soil sedimented flood plains where the sediments make the region rich and deltas the river mouth and estuary when the rivers meet in the sea is called estuary next we go to the cast topography what is mean by cast topography the underground water creates the landform in the limestone region is called the cast topography we have to study about the underground water that is the active agent in limestone region due to this limestone region dissolution of soluble rocks such as limestone dolomite and gypsum the western slovenia extends for the distance of 480 km length and 80 km width which is the cast in the slovenic language the world's largest cast area is the nalabo located on the great australian coast the cast regions of the world or southern france spain mexico jamaica western cuba central new guinea and sri lanka and myanmar 
The cast areas are in India or the western Bihar, Uttargan, Madhya Pradesh and Basto district in Chhattisgarh, Andhra Pradesh and Visakhapatnam. Erosional landforms of underground water or Terrorosa, the Italian term that is called red soil and lapis. Lapis means groundwater of rocks turns into long furrows or formed lapis. Sinkhole is the funnel shaped depression on the limestone rock that is called sinkholes and caves and caverns caves and caverns are irregular flows of the rocks and the depositional landforms of the underground water or stalactite stalagmite and column or in this region the ceiling of caves is called stalactite Stalacite and the ceiling of pillar is called stalamite and these two caves and pillars meet in this place is called column. Now let us go to the glacier. Glaciers is a large mass of ice that moves slowly over the land from the place of accumulation. That is the river of ice, the height above which there is the permanent snow. Cover in the high altitude or latitude is called snow line. The gradual transformation of snow into granular rice is called fin or nave, and finally it becomes solid glacier ice. Erosional landforms of glaciers are Sarkiu, Arids, Matterhorn, U shaped valley, hanging valley, fjords. Circus are the walls of the mountain and forms a bowl shaped om char like depression. Om char like depression is called circu. Or it means arid or narrow ridges formed by the two circu walls joined together back to back and form narrow knife like ridges. Pyramidal peak formed when three or more circuits meet together. That is called Matterhorns. U-shaped valleys. The glacier moves down along the river valley. The valley for the gates eroded deep and wide to form the U-shaped valley. Hanging valley is eroded by the tributary glacier and it hangs over the mountain main valley. The depositional landforms of the glaciers are the moraines, drumlins, eskers, caves, and outwash plains. Moraines. Material deposited by the glacier is called moraines. Drumlin means basket of eye topography. Basket of egg topography is called drumlins. Esker, long narrow ridges composed of Gravel and sand deposited by streams of melting water which run parallel to glacier or called escars. Outwash plains is nothing but the sediment deposited by the melting ice at the terminus of glacier. Now let us go to the wind. What is mean by wind? When air blows horizontally and that surface is called wind. Erosional landforms of the winds or mushroom rocks, Inselberg, Yordang, Sand Dune, Bergon, Transverse Dunes, longitudi Longitudinal Dunes, Lows. Let us go to the mushroom rock. The rock are made up of hard and soft layers. When the rock bottom is soft, the sand Winds blow against and wear it down and form mushroom or pedestal rocks. Inselberg is the island mountain. Jordan means 
the rock have hard and soft layers arranged vertically and blow over these rocks the soft layers get eroded leaving irregular crest that is called your dunks and let us go to the depositional landforms of vein that is so sand dunes pergons and transverse dunes and longitudinal dunes the mountain or hills of the sand are called dunes bergon means both are isolated crescent shaped sand dunes and transverse dunes formed by the alternate slow and forced winds that blows flow the same directions longitudinal dunes that is called safe dunes or long narrow ridges of sand which extended in the direction parallel or the prevailing winds these dunes are called saves in sahara loess the term loess refer to the deposit of the fine silt and porn porous sand over the vast region that is the ukraine in the mississippi valley of the united states now let's go to the way the last uh, first subject of this lesson.